basically, Ryan got like obliterated drunk tonight by himself without us. And he's asleep on the couch in the other room. No, he's passed out. That's what they do when they're drunk. They pass out. Well, that's what I heard. I read the way. I read he, we were like screwing around with him. He's not moving. So we decided that. That was my idea. All right, great. Whatever. Um, Ryan's terrified of two things, and that's drowning and being buried alive. Yeah. So we figure we can try and simulate burying him alive. Uh-huh. So we're going to take a cardboard box that's huge and put it over like the top half of his body and put his body on top of the table, the kitchen table. Uh-huh. And um, then we're going to put a plank of wood on top. Yeah. And basically trying to get him to wake up and he'll probably freak out and I'm really excited. So I don't... I, 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 do you feel that poking next to you? I don't, I mean, I don't know, but I'm just really excited how excited I am. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but you know. Alright. I can get him at the knees. You get him on the others. My biggest fucking fear, you faggots. <laughs> you know that's my biggest fear. Hey, maybe next time you should invite us to have some fun with you. <laughs> oh god. That punch in the hell was about it. <laughs> you saw it. Oh my god, where did he hit you? <laughs> <laughs> he swung so hard. If he was sober, he would have hit you. <laughs> Hey, we're having a fucking joke. It was a fucking joke. Hey, Harry. Just relax. Just relax. It's a fucking joke. Don't see me fucking get mad with you. You're fucking shit. Ah!